I think College of Earth, Ocean and Environment, what we want to do is to start uh, working with, uh, with some companies outside of the college in joint projects between academia and industry. The, the reason to do that is to have our students to have a chance to have hands-on experience uh, that's usually not found in a traditional classroom and laboratory setting. It was really funny. We were, you know, we weren't expecting it to come so fast. We knew that it was probably en route from coming up from the Gulf of Mexico, but all of a sudden my advisor walks into the robotics discovery lab where we were working that day and he's like, Cyclops is here. I just got the message. And so we rallied the troops and we all walked over to go see it. We had kind of heard about it and you, we'd seen pictures of it, but just to see it in real life was really cool. This is really exciting for us because now suddenly we have our own underwater exploration bus. And this means great opportunities for us to engage students, to bring them to the oceans. We've spent a lot of our time bringing the oceans to us using robot systems. And now for the first time, we can bring ourselves to the ocean. This is very exciting because Ocean Gate is opening up that very sophisticated world to the public. Most importantly for our students and for our faculty to, to have access to such a important and very sophisticated uh, systems that normally you won't get a chance to try. My project deals with tracking and um, researching the movements and the habitat preferences for sand tiger sharks, which are local shark species that uh, to the Delaware Bay and the coastal ocean. I don't know how they're interacting with each other or how they're interacting with their environment. You know, is there structure, some kind of shipwreck or rock pile or something that they're um, keying in on and hanging out nearby that we just don't know about and we can't see them uh, interacting with those environments because it's hard for us to make those observations in our environment here. I'm excited about how we can use Cyclops to enhance our, our research in ways that allow us to really get up close and personal to the seabed, to some of the structures that we're, we're mapping in ways that we couldn't before. The opportunity to be able to put students down into a submarine and say this is, you know, what this looks like under the water. And, you know, we've been taking a lot of taking you out on boats and you've seen what we can see from the surface or you've collected water samples from um, casts, you know, with sensors going down. But this is actually what it looks like under the world. Being able to get that context, I think, would be really great for students. Discoveries in the ocean environment really come down to ha who has the most bottom time. And now with Ocean Gate Cyclops 1, we have the ability to increase our bottom time and bring our scientists and our students into the marine environment in an unprecedented way.